Morning, morning. We are here today with Trudy at Cabra Ranch. I'm here with my family today and we are here to have a look at our operation today and I have some questions to ask Trudy today, right Trudy? Yes sir, how are you? Thank you and welcome. <laughs> okay. Paul, Ray. Right? Like like <laughs> <laughs> I must catch you. <laughs> Careful. Now, Trudy is very, you know, wondering what kind of questions I'm going to ask. First of all, Trudy, I wanted to come and have. She recently bought one of the trough cutters, and we're going to have a look at the trough cutter and just see and ask her how it's working and, you know, has it helped our farm so far? So let's have a look and see what's happening. So Judy, how has the trough cutter um, helped your farm? It has been wonderful because it has sped up our processing time for the grass okay. almost double the time. Double so the time. we can actually process grass a lot quicker to get it out to feed the goats. Okay, how long it used to take it before to process your grass? Probably just to cut it up, probably about 45 minutes or so. Right. And now we're actually at about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so right. a lot more production. A lot more production, yes. Okay, yes. and what about the quality of the cut up or, you know, how, how, what, what, how is it compared? It's it's actually very good. The, the goats eat it. They don't. They haven't seen a difference from what they're used to. Okay. So they eat it, and you know we don't have a problem with it at all. So it goes okay. really well. Yeah. So this is the trough cutter. They actually bought one of the bigger ones because you know they have a big operation here. Yes, and unfortunately can't go in this little door. So for right now, until we build a shed, right. it's right here. So, so we try to cover it up at night. Right. This is the big one. It is actually a diesel engine. Um, Trough cutter. We won't be focusing on this today, but we just wanted to see, you know, that they are modernizing and doing everything within yes. their facility. To, for to efficiency. For everything efficiency. is about efficiency. Right. How quickly can we get things done? Right. And efficiency also because production. this is a commercial farm and um truly you are you are going in the direction that I, I love you know milk. Milk, yes, <laughs> yes, right. we are definitely working on that. And I can tell you, milk is my main my main push. As the president of the Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica, my main trust is milk production. Absolutely. Because as you know, with milk, you're still gonna have the meat. Yes. So I wanted to discuss with you today. Um you know some of your points and some things that you think about the milk. Let's go walk over to okay, the farm. Let's go back over here. So the milk production is where again we're trying to get ramped up on that. So we're trying to streamline the process. Um, so once we milk the goats, then we're going to look at different avenues of marketing it. We have some people that just want to buy it outright, but then we are also moving towards making more value-added products. So I can show you samples of some soaps that I've already made. Okay, so, so you're doing soaps. soaps Lotion, Lotion cheese, cheese, gelato, anything milk-based, uh, we're definitely looking at it. Where that, are you learning all of this? Where are you getting all of this from? Because that's my challenge. I don't know how to make <laughs> none of the products that are, you know, these milk stuff. I don't know yet. But... YouTube University oh, is the best place ever. Oh, you're doing what I am doing. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube University. YouTube University. Anything you want to know, it's on YouTube. <laughs> and, and, and we are all both... We are all both teachers of YouTube. Absolutely. And we are students of YouTube. Absolutely. Yes, yes. we're pushing out the knowledge and learning, you know, from the farms as we go along. Definitely. So yes. YouTube is a great starting point. Yes. And then as you get on YouTube, then you start learning about people you follow. And then you end up being in all these different forums. So even if you have a question on anything, you can always go out to those people and ask them. So it's been phenomenal. Yes. And you just test and try and come up with a formula that works for you. And you just move from there. People love it. And guess what? Yes. People always ask me, market, 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 market. You have to create your own market. You have to create your own. Tell people it's there. Yes. If you don't tell them what you have, then they'll never, you'll never get anything. You'll so never you reach anywhere. You have to just keep marketing everything every day. And in terms of goat milk, yes. Um, well, I'm just going to go to cattle that? milk. My daughter wants to lift up. <laughs> and she's so cute. They're both so cute. Nathan, you going to show me too? No? So, people don't understand this. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, even this morning I was discussing with my wife. There are farms that is stop producing cow's milk and going to goat milk yes. because it's so much more efficient. It's so much more efficient. It's easier to get to the milk. 
um, the, the pH balance of goat's milk is similar to the pH, I should say the pH balance of goats is close to the pH balance of humans. That's so correct. it makes it easier for us to actually um, digest goat's milk. So it's actually a very good industry to look into and to go into. Yes. So we're trying to do our best to encourage other farmers to start utilizing goat milk as well. Because yes. I know in Jamaica, a lot of people don't drink milk in general. So then when you add goat milk on top of it, you know, it's a whole new learning curve. Well, I will say this to you that, um, if I remember correctly, I think mm -hmm. we are producing, I think about 11 to 13 million mm -hmm. liters of milk now a year. Okay. And the demand, I think is 40, because we are actually importing milk. I think the demand is about 40 million liters oh, wow. of milk. And what I think is that we can replace some of this cow's milk Absolutely. with goat milk. Absolutely. Because it is so much more efficient. Mm -hmm. It is so much more efficient to produce milk from Very goat, much. Very right? Much. I even tried a goat milk powder. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I have to fine tune that whole little process. But yeah, I'm planning to do the full, we're planning to do the full gamut here at Cabaran. So it's okay. been great. We like it. So let, let's let's sure. Have let's a, come on in. Let's have, I notice you have some. You have what? Electric fence in here. We do. That's to keep our goats in and to keep everybody else out. And okay. folks, it works. It shocked me two days ago, and it was not a fun experience. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, this, 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 is, this is the farm. We're not going to go too far in there. We'll okay. just stand out here. But, you know, one of the things, Trudy, we wanted to know mm -hmm. who is Trudy. Who is Trudy? Yes. Wow. Because Trudy, I think, <laughs> I hope I'm not wrong, but uh -huh. I think Trudy is... You tell me. I am, um, okay. Well, we could go in any, many different directions. No, of that conference. here, here. We're here. talking about What is gold. my role here? No, not your role. We want to know who is Trudy. Quick, 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 tell me who, who is Trudy. Who is Trudy? Trudy yeah. is someone who ventured into goat farming, mm -hmm. um, did a little bit of home, not little, quite a bit of homework and research, but have since found out that it's way more involved than, it, than she anticipated, but loving every minute of it and growing and learning every single day. So it's, it's been great. So Trudy, I know that you are involved in a lot of other things, mm -hmm. you know, because this is not making any money for you no, right now. No, 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 no. So what, what else, you oh, know? Oh, that's yeah. where you're going. No, no, we just want an, a little idea of Trudy, you okay. know? Okay, <laughs> so my professional life, I'm yes. what's called an international trade consultant. Okay. And I like to tell people, I work with US corporations, right. importers and exporters to basically keep them out of jail. So I want to make sure, my role is to make sure that they understand the laws and regulations of bringing things in and out of the United States. Oh, so okay. to that end, um, it works really well with COVID and, not, and being here in Jamaica because a lot of stuff I do is online. So I do a lot of seminars and training and workshops. So, yeah. so um, you're finding that market, you're going to market most of your products abroad. Is that where your headspace is or Jamaica? Or what do you think is going to happen? With? I, I think I want to try a little bit of both, right? Why limit right. yourself? Because there are a lot of people in the US, because I started making soap and, soap and lotion in the United States first. And oh, all from, my, yes. From what? From just milk in the grocery store. Oh, okay. <laughs> so all my customers there keep saying, hey, we want the products, we want the products. And I think they'll like it even more that is coming directly from the goat farm and from Jamaica. So I'm going to, we're going to end up marketing a little bit of both. Now, one of the things that I've heard being spoken about mm -hmm. around is that you're doing just some tourism. You have some of these yes. tourist type thoughts yes. with all of what you're doing. Because Absolutely. I see you have this, this is an octagon <laughs> shape. My hair. <laughs> is this an octagon shape house? Yes. And you know, wh yes. what kind of idea you have where that is concerned? So Cabra Ranch is actually an agro-tourism destination based on goats. Right. So the whole idea is to have this getaway, this destination where tourists or anybody, it could be a local tourist, right? Anybody can come and get away and do as much as you want or as little as you want. So eventually we're going to have villas that, and that people can come and stay. Okay. And then you can either just decide to relax or if you want to come and help out. We just had a friend last week that she came and was feeding the goats and milking right. goats and she just loved it. So um, yeah, it's you can come and hang out and help with the goats or just come and hang out and have a good time. Right, because one of the things is that there's so many people who have never interacted with these animals yes. and People and just great. go crazy when they, you know, start interacting with the animals and so forth. I and, can show um, you BB and Coco. They're very friendly. Okay. They'll, they'll come right BB out. and Coco. BB Let's and see. Coco and Milo. BB, Coco and Milo. I yeah. wonder what this is. This sounds like... Here they come. Come on out. Where's the other one? Come quick, Nathan. <laughs> Quickly. Hi, Nathan. That one is facing some grass over there. 
Yes, yeah, she Come is. Come on, touch the babies. <laughs> I'm in the car. Say hello. <laughs> so do you see all very kid friendly? That's our whole idea to have a petting zoo as well. <laughs> So these kids are oh, really bottle fed up. kids and yes. um, when you're bottle fed the kids, they are like little pets. They are. Yes. Very, very friendly. And very intelligent. Yes. Yeah, very Say hello. Intelligent. Oh, be Yeah, so um, we did a very quick, we're making a very quick stop today. And I want to thank Judy so much for inviting us to the yes. farm today. Judy. Thank you, Mr. Bernard. Thanks for coming. We do appreciate you and your support and all you're doing for the industry. Okay, thanks so much. And, um, you know, as usual, we're here to highlight and to educate. And one of the main things with meeting with Judy today, I wanted to highlight my milk, goat milk. It is such, it, you know, we're not, we're not taking it very serious and I'm trying to go around and highlight and let people realize how important goat milk Absolutely. is to Jamaica. Absolutely, yes. Thank you so much Come for watching and um, please continue to subscribe to my channel. Don't touch the fence, okay? Don't go near the fence, Vanna.